after CONCACAF's ruling to debar Alpha United from the Caribbean Club Championship set to take place this year, President of Alpha United Football Club Odinga Lumumba made it clear his position with the Guyana Football Federation and his future with the sport. Me, Odinga Lumumba, will not participate in football as long as Mr. Ford is president. I can't stop the club from participating, but the Dinga Lumumba will not be participating. In addition, Lumumba shared his views on the ruling by CONCACAF, noting that the debarring was unfortunate. Well, I don't know. I, um, we qualified last year. Our qualification has nothing to do with the reason status. We took a position for clubs. But we weren't participating because we felt the rule had been abused and there had been a misinterpretation of the rules and we called for CONCACAF or FIFA to resolve this issue. I think it's unfortunate that they seek to resolve it in a punitive manner, but they don't want to run football. So my present position, I will not participate in any football tournament under the present leadership of Mr. Ford. Meanwhile, Lumumba, who is set to spend more than $1 million on his squad every month, also shared his opinion on the effect his stance would have on the team. Possibly. I'm sure it will affect them in a negative manner, but Mr. Ford will solve it. He seems to have all the answers. Alpha United and Slingers FC have been debarred from the tournament despite qualifying by finishing winners and runner-up in the 2015-2016 season of the Stag Elite League. However, the ban came about because CONCACAF reserves the right to bar any club from the tournament who is not in good standing with its federation or CONCACAF itself. Both clubs, along with Pili FC and the Georgetown Football Club, fell out of favor with the GFF because of an executive decision by the federation to extend the league from 8 to 10 teams without holding a GFF Congress, according to the clubs. In addition, CONCACAF also noted that the GFF Executive Committee has the constitutional authority to modify the league. Nevertheless, the future of one of the most dominant clubs in recent years is beginning to look gloomy. Tristan Joseph, Newsroom Sport.